Hi, I have been a Viper main for a while, and because of that, I know a lot of lineups, and in this video, I have 100 of them. Now, a lot of these lineups I've made myself, but some of them have been taken from other YouTubers such as Jin's Lead, uh, Brush, Unidaro, Lineups Guide, and I recommend that you check them out. If you're looking for a specific lineup for a specific site or a specific map, there will be chapters on this video so you can click to find wherever you need to find a lineup for, or you can follow me on TikTok and or Instagram where I post one-off breakdowns and explanations of different lineups that you can do in your own games. That being said, you should probably practice all of these in a custom game before you use them in a game, otherwise you'll probably end up with some angry teammates. Now, onto the video. For a post plant lineup for a default on Asante, you can come back into A main here, into this corner, and look at the bottom of this paint smudge in this machine, and you'll be using the right side of your left hut to line up with the bottom of the paint smudge. Come into tree here, into this corner, look up, and you'll see three dark leaves forming a C shape. At the end of the C shape, use your crosshair to line up with the tip of the leaf, and fire. Go into this corner at the bottom of catwalk here and using the pipes on the machine on the wall there you'll be lining up the right side of your right hut in between those two pipes coming into this corner and ct here you can look up to this pillar here and see the light white part at the bottom of it you'll be aiming with the corner of that you'll be using the bottom of the third line in your toxin bar line that up and fire and it'll land in front of generator. When planning for dice on a sente, come back to aim main into this little corner here, and use your crosshair to aim on the top left of this wall here. When planting for a main on a sente, you can come into wine here into this corner in front of the barrels, and using your only your crosshair, you can aim at the top corner here. For a defensive lineup, for a sente, you can come into this corner here on heaven, look at this cloud up in the sky, and just aim a bit above that. This will land right on the alt orb. When playing behind dice defensively on a sente, you can look at the bottom left of this AC unit here, and line up with the left side of your left HUD. This will land on the left side of A main. When playing from tree, you can come into this corner here, look up, and find the top hole here in this little clump of leaves. If you just use your crosshair and just shoot from there, it'll land right on the alt orb. Enter this corner here when defending on Asante. Look at the end of this branch here, and just left click, and it'll land all the way over in tiles, blocking anyone aggressing. When defending on Asante, you can come into this corner in NCT, and use the top of this arch here with the left side of your left HUD, and this molly will land on the side of Jen. Pairing this with a molly that lands on the front of Jen, you can completely block access. Come into this corner of tree here, and using this branch here, you can actually send a molly all the way over to B main. Use the right side of your right HUD, a bit to the right of the end of the branch, and jump and instantly molly. This will land all the way over B main, blocking people rushing. For a post plant setup for B, come over to Pizza. Look up at this branch above you, and you'll see a bit of a zigzag pattern. Put your crosshair in the middle of that. Come into Pizza, stand on top of this table here and look for the third roof tile, and aim a bit to the right of that. You can come into CT and line yourself up so that you can't see the side of the wall anymore, and using the corner of this windowsill here, with the right side of your left HUD, you can stop people defusing the spike. You can come back into B lobby here, and look up at this building here, using one of the corners of one of the fractured parts, with the top left of your toxin bar, for a post plant molly for split a default, come onto this pot plant in cafe, look up at this light, and look on the left side of it. Come into heaven here, enter this little corner, 
and look at the second line on this wall here. When you've planted for heaven on split A, you can use this post plant molly. Come into cafe here on this pot plant and look up at the light here. Look on the left side and just a bit to the left of it. You can come into heaven into this corner here and look at the first line on this wall here. For a post plant molly when you've planted for screens on split A, you can come back into cafe, stand next to the pot plant and look at the top right of this light ray from this light on the building. For a support molly, you can come into this corner here and look on the top right of this leaf right here, on this tree. Up into the right a bit, and this will bounce off of the light and land right behind elbow. You can combo that with this molly. Create an L shape from these two gaps in the tree, and this will land right in the corridor of elbow. If you combo those two together, you cover almost all of elbow. For a support molly from mid, from A, you can come into this corner here on ramp and look at a V shape from this crane in this building here and look, look at the apex of it. This bounces off the building and lands on the stairs in mid. For an anti-plant molly on split B site, you can come over to this poster here and look at the corner of this little thing on the pole and use the top of your smoke icon to line it up and from there you jump molly. This lands right on default. For a post plant molly lineup, for B site on split, you can come over onto the step here in heaven, look at the top left of this wooden corner here, and just fire. This bounces off the building and lands on default. You can come into spawn here in B lobby, turn around, look at the middle of this sign, and drag it over to the edge of this building. Come into this corner in CT here. And look at the corner of this wall panel here. You'll be lying up your left side of your right HUD. For one of the few support lines for B site on split, you can come up to this poster here and line up the top of your smoke icon with this notch on this wire here. And instant jump molly. This lands back a pillar. And if you pair this with an anti plant lineup, you can completely stop a rush onto B. This is a post plant molly for a default on trash. Come back into dish here. Now line up the fork of your left HUD with that little concrete thing on the ground. Come back into dish here and on top of this weird V shaped rock. Now look into the middle of this gray slab of this building. Come over into sand over here and come into this corner. Now you'll line up the top right of your dachshund bar with this ledge thing of this pipe. This is a post plant molly for top side on fracture A site. Stand on top of this crack here on the floor and look at this left part of this hanging wire. Come into dish over here and stand on top of this V shaped rock. Now aim at the top of this gray slab on this building. This is a support molly from B site to A site. Come up and hug this line on these stairs here, and line up the left side of your right HUD with that line there. Instant jump molly, and this will open up door and help the people in ropes. This is for a molly for vents on fracture B site. Come over and hug this wall and hug that line there. And using this corner of this window, line it up with your crosshair of your molly, and walk forward for your molly. Come back into arcade and jump on top of this bench here. You go up to this gray line here and line up the crosshair of your molly with that hanging wire there. This is a molly for B default on fracture. Come over here and hug this line on this wall and you'll be using the top of your molly icon and line it up with the top of this ledge on the top of this wall here. Come over into arcade here and hug the line that's on this wall here. Now looking up you'll see a whole bunch of bushes, but you'll need to find this bush and shoot at the end of this leaf here. 
For cross map support molly from A to B, stand in this corner here and line up your alt icon with this divot in the panel in the building here. From here you'll be doing a running against the jump molly and this will block off B main. For bind A side default plan, you can come back here onto this ledge here, into this corner, and if you look up at the very top of this drainage pipe, look a bit to the right. If you come back into this corner outside showers, you can look up and you'll see this leaf at the top here. From the bottom of the leaf, bring that up to the middle of it. In market, you can jump on top of this little sack here. Look at the, the cross section of this beam here and align that with the right side of your toxin wall. For a plan on triple on bind A site, you can come back outside of showers here into this corner, find this tall leaf and line up the right side of your left HUD with the bottom of it. You can come back outside of A main onto this ledge here into the corner and you'll be lining up with this spike here on this leaf. And you'll be doing that using the right side of your right HUD. For a cross map support lineup, stand in this corner here and aim between these two pillars here with the top of your smoke icon. When you've planted for hookah on B side on bind, side. you can come back into this corner here and using the bottom right corner here, you'll be using the left side of your left HUD and you'll bring that up above that white line there. You can come into long over here next to the teleporter into this corner using the top left corner of that dark square there line that up with the left side of your left hud you can come back into cd here stand on top of this sandy x and line up the left side of your right hud with that cross beam there you can come back into hookah here in mid and stand in this corner here now, using the bottom left corner of that dark brick there on the wall, line that up with the left side of your left HUD. You can come back into long here next to the teleporter in this corner here, and look at the left corner over here where the wall meets the teleporter. Line that up with the left side of your left HUD, and shoot. For a cross map support molly from A to B, you can stand in this corner here, and line up the left side of your right HUD with the top of this triangle here. For post plant molly for Breeze A site, you can come over here and stand on this rock in the corner here, and you'll look up at all these bushes right here, and you'll find this sort of triangle in this opening of the bush here. Place a crosshair on that. Come up to mid and onto this pillar here, and you'll hug up against the pillar and these bricks here. Now you'll be looking at this flower here that's hanging down here and placing the top of your smoke icon on that. For a post plant lineup from holes, you can come up here and come to the left side of the vent here. Now if you look up, uh, in the gap here, you'll see in this roof there's a line. Look a bit to the left of that, still on the edge. For a, an anti-plant lineup, come into this corner here. And if you look really close, there's this yellow leaf here in this vine. Place the left side of your right hut on that, and into the jump molly. For the same molly for the front side, stand in this corner of the box, and do the exact same lineup. For a cross map anti plant molly, come over here into elbow and hug this line. Now, if you look to the right, you'll see these two buildings. Look over the right one at the two stubs on the top, place the right side of your right HUD between those two stubs. Do a running molly. For a molly for B default in Breeze, come back into cannon here and stand on top of the cannon on top of this wheel here. Now, if you look up, you'll see this quadrilateral with this triangle above it. Place a crosshair in the triangle and fire. Come into elbow here and stand in the corner of these boxes in this wall. If you look up, you'll see this box here. Place a crosshair in the corner of that and jump with a delayed molly. Come back below garage and stand next to this third pole on this sewer grate. Now look at the top left of this brick right here and place the left side of your left hut on that. And now for post plant molly for the back pillar on B. Come back into elbow here and stand in this corner here. Lock up in the corner of this little box here and do an instant jump molly.
Come back into cannon here and stand on top of the wheel of this cannon. If you look up, you'll see a quadrilateral in the leaves above you. Look at the very left corner of that quadrilateral. If you want to molly elbow all the way from sight, stand on this corner here and look at this flower up and pillar. Now line up the right side of your left hut on that and file. And from the same spot, if you want to stop them from getting the alt orb, you can look at the corner of this entryway and place the toe of your X above it. If you want to cross map Molly from A to B, stand on this corner here and look at the paint splotch next to the door over there. Place the left side of your right HUD on that and do a running jump Molly. For A default on Pearl, come back into main and stand in this corner here. When you look up you'll see these bands in the sky. Look at the third line on that band there and place the left side of your right HUD on that. You can also come back into CT here and stand next to this little pillar here and look up at the window on the wall there. Look at this ledge here that's on that window and line up this part of your HUD with that ledge there. You can come back into main here for something a little more risky and come into this corner. Look at this leaf here, the tip of it, and line that up at the bottom left of your toxin bar. If you're planning in the dugout here, you can come over into A-Link, come into this corner here in Connector. Now if you look up, you'll see this line here on this sort of pillar in the corner. Line up the left side of your left HUD with that corner. If you want to stop defenders from pushing out of art, you can come into this corner here in A-Main, look up at the ceiling, and look at this little line on the right here. Fire a Marley at that, and we'll stop defenders from pushing. If defenders keep pushing out of B-Link into mid, you can stand in this corner here and go down three lines on the ceiling here on the right side and place crosshair there and fire. To stop defenders from pushing out of art from B-Main, you can stand it over here in this corner, look at the light here on the ceiling and go down one line to the right of it. Line that up with the left side of your left HUD and file. If you want to stop defenders from pushing out of B-Link from B-Main, you can stand in this corner here, look up at the ceiling, and look in the middle of that line in the ceiling there. For a post-point molly, when you're planted for long on Pearl B site, you can come back long into this corner here, and look at this line here on this wall, and bring your crosshair all the way up, until the top notch of your HUD lines up with the plant. You'll see. Bring it up until the top notch of your HUD lines up with the plant there, in the corner. It'll take some practice to get used to. When you've planted for Metal Box on Pearl, you can come back here onto Main and hug this back wall. When you do that, look at the edge of that roof there in that building. Send your molly that way, and it should stop a diffuse. You can also go onto Heaven here, and go into this corner here in CT. You're gonna hug it so then you can't see the side of the wall anymore, and look up at this roof tile here. At the very corner of the roof tile, line that up with the right side of your left HUD, and fire. For a cross map lineup, you can come over here underneath this window in A, and look at these tiles here, and look at the very left of this tile here. Do a running jump molly, and it'll go all the way across the map, and land on the metal box. For a default plant on Icebox A, come back here into A main and hug this line on this wall here. Now if you look up in the ceiling, look where these two lines intersect and aim for that little intersection there. Come back into A main here and come into this doorway. Look up at the ceiling at this line here and shoot your molly right in the middle of that. Come back here into A main and on top of this box here. This is good if you come from belt. Shimmy across until you see a sliver of that line there on the wall and shoot your molly right in the middle. Come back into screens here. You can hug this doorway here. Look up the ceiling. You'll see this little intersection here of these lines on the roof. When you're planning for ropes on icebox, 
you can come back here into this doorway in main, hug the wall. Now look at this line here. You want to place the top fork of your right HUD on the edge of the line and do an insta jump molly. For a defensive molly, you can come into this doorway here and look up at the ceiling and look at this intersection of lines near the light there. Place your crosshair there and shoot a molly. It'll bounce off the roof and land right on the alt orb. For a support attacking molly, you can come into this doorway here and line up the fork of your right HUD with the edge of that line on the floor there. And then do a delayed jump molly. This lands right on rafters. For a B default plan on Icebox, come back into main and go into the middle of this window. Line up the top right of your toxin bar with the corner of that grey thing there. You can come back into mid here and line yourself up with the middle of the shipping container. Now if you look up in the sky there's this big star here and there's a little star right up to the left of it. Place a crosshair on that and file. You can come back into CT here and stand on this railing. Now if you look up on the crane there's an antenna here. You can line up the right side of your right HUD with the middle of that antenna. When you've planted underneath heaven here, come back into main and outside this window here. Line yourself up with the middle of the window and look at this kingdom logo in this grey container here. Look at this corner here and line up the right side of your smoke button with that corner. For a support molly when you're attacking on icebox, you can come up in between these two shipping containers and look at this white antenna on top of the crane here. You'll be using the bottom of that antenna there with the right side of your right HUD. This will land right next to yellow, stopping anyone from peeking. When you've planted for long on Haven A site, you can come back here, back onto long, on top of these sandbags here. If you look at the building in the background there, you can look at the top left of those windows there and fire your molly at that. When you've planted for short, the spike. come back into main and on top of these sandbags and look at the corner of this roof here and place the right side of your left hut on that. Then look up and right a bit more and then fire. You can come over here into A link and stand in this corner here next to this basket. Now look at the top in this corner of this window sill here and line that up with the right side of your left HUD. When you're planning on B for C, you can come back into A here in this corner and now this is a really precise lineup. Look at this crack on the wall and look at this little spike here. Now look above that to this wooden edge here. You'll be using the bottom right of your toxin bar lined up to that edge. You can come into spawn here as well and look at this golden thing here, look at the top of it and then line that up with the left side of it. When you're planted for front side on B, you can come back here into spawn, stand in this corner here and just aim your crosshair at the very top of this golden thing on the top of the building. When you're planted for A on B site, you can come back into spawn and do the exact same molly. Except this time, from the top of it, to the right side of it. When you're planning for C default, you can come back into C lobby here, and go up against this wooden post. If you look up above you, you'll see a little tiny bump in the wood there. Now, you'll be placing your crosshair on that, and mowing. Come into C-Link here and stand in this corner. If you look up above you, there's this uh, wooden piece sticking out. Go look at the corner and come down a bit. When you've planted for long on C, come back into C-Lobby here and stand under this painting. You'll be using the corner of this little rock here in the distance as a reference. Line that up with the left side of your left hut and fire. 